Hi everyone, this is Heather Smith with Storyville Photography and today I'm going to show you how I achieved this edit. I used the Canon R5 in 200mm 2.0f lens and my settings were 2.0f, 320 ISO, and 800 shutter speed. This is the before and this is the after. The only thing I did here was open it into Lightroom, decrease the highlights, increase the shadows, and warm the image up a little bit. The final image right here is actually two images merged. I love them here, but I don't love my daughter's face. Here, perfect. I did like this image altogether, but I loved him throwing the leaves. So the first thing I wanna do is I'm gonna select this entire image, Command A, and then Command C to copy it, and then Command V to paste. Then I'm gonna lower the opacity to where I can see through here. Luckily, I didn't move around too much, so it's pretty easy to line the two images up. I am going to use the top of the ladder as my focal point of merging the two. And this looks good. I was gonna save a little bit of time and do it before I hit the record button, but in case you weren't sure how to merge two images together, I wanted to show y'all. And I can always go back and adjust it if it doesn't line, out per line up perfectly. I'm gonna increase that to 100. I'm gonna add a layer mask, soft black brush at 100% opacity. I'm going to get rid of this hard line first so I don't forget about it. And then I'm going to just mask my daughter off here, if that makes sense. Yep. Might have to make a little bit of adjustment here. And then just using your X key, you can go back and forth um, to mask anything off that you don't want. Okay, I'm gonna decrease that a little bit more. Command T to move it again and bring it down just a little bit so it lines up a little bit better. Okay, there we go. I'm not gonna spend too much time on this guys, but this is what you do. Same thing goes if you just want to do a head swap. Okay. Almost done. Okay, there we go. So that's the before and after. Little details like this matter a whole lot, guys. And now I want to crop it in a little bit. So I'm going to select the image, Command A, and then I'm gonna hit Command P to, gosh, I forget what it's called. Let me show you guys in case you don't know. Um, where is it? Transform selection, that's what I'm looking for, guys. <laughs> so you're gonna to wanna to transform selection, my shortcut's P. And then I'm gonna just pull in the edges there a little bit and down here a little bit. Okay, there we go. Hit that and then I'm going to come up to the image and crop there and now the next thing I want to do is flatten my image and I'm going to come over to the painterly action hit play and I'm going to leave the base at hundred percent I am going to mask it off of their face and some of the details on their outfits there we go bring back all those little details And the hat. And then I loved her lace here, so we're not going to keep it on there. I want those details. Button and shirt. <clears throat> okay. And, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry guys. And that looks good to me right there. And the next thing I want to do is brighten up. And I'm gonna decrease this to zero. Oh, not the base. Sorry guys, I thought I was clicked on here still. Decrease it to zero and just kind of increase it to where my eye likes it. And that looks pretty good to me. I'm gonna come up to the contrast and I'm gonna just take it down like I did the brighten up and just increase it to where my eye likes it. Trust your eye guys. Um, and that looks good to me there. And then same goes with the color dazzle. I'm gonna go ahead and 
to zero and then just slowly pull it up and that looks good. I'm going to take the soft black brush at about 50% opacity, 47 works too, and wipe it off of their skin. So some of it stays on, some does not. I'm going to take it off of some of the yellow back here. And if it's too much saturation or you don't want to use any of the stuff but the base, just keep the eyeballs off, guys. That's the before and after. And you can also adjust the opacity as a group. You can take it down to zero and just like increase it to where you like it. I'm going to leave it at 100. I made the adjustments in the action and that, lo ah, that looks good to me. Now the next thing I want to do is add some leaves over the top. If you have a overlay that works perfectly well, I used another image that I took. And I actually just made this into a simple digital background for y'all. It's November's freebie. If you were seeing this after November, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but yeah, go over to the website and you can just download this for free on the homepage. So I'm going to take the marquee tool. Is this the marquee? No, the lasso tool. Sorry. And I'm going to just go ahead and select this portion of it. I do a pretty sloppy job, guys. Um, maybe one day I will learn how to really make the overlays pop and a good you know, a smooth transition, but for now, this is what you get. So I copied it, Command C, and I'm going to paste it, Command V, Command T to move it. I'm going to pull it up here a little bit, and then I want to expand it, make the leaves a little bit bigger. And then you can always go back and adjust um, what you need to. And from here, I'm going to add a layer mask. I'm going to use a soft black brush starting with 100% opacity. And I'm going to get rid of the screen down here. Actually, I need to move it a little bit. I like having this uh, tree trunk, stem, whatever you want to call it in it. And then as I get closer, I'm going to lower the opacity a little bit and just kind of tap on the greens so it'll blend better. You guys can really spend a lot of time on this if you want. I don't. Um, I just, whatever looks good to me, looks good to me. Whatever looks good to you will look good to you. Okay. And there we go. That looks good. I might even expand the branches even more now that I can see what's going on here. I'm going to hit the command T and I want the leaves even bigger. Okay. That looks good. A little bit more you guys can just play around all you'd like and now I want this to blend a little bit more um, with the adjustments that I already made so I'm gonna take this layer I'm gonna pull it down um, into the painterly to where it's just affected by the color dazzle contrast and brighten up you could have first ran a uh, waited to run the pa painterly um, till after you added the tree overlay but I didn't want the painterly on the leaves for this image. Okay. That looks good to me. Okay. So this is the before and after. Really big adjustments with just that action. And now I want to pull in a sun overlay. Let's see here. Starry sun. I'm going to drag the sun too. Set it to screen mode, guys. Pull it up into the trees and decrease it. It decreased the opacity or the the size of it. Sorry. Okay. And then I'm gonna go up to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and this is gonna help get rid of any hard edges. Um, or you could add a layer mask and mask, but I found this is the easiest way to do it. And if you don't like where you left it, just Command T and you can move it around. Um, wherever you'd like. So that's the before and after. And then I come in and I have these single leaf overlays. Single leaf. That I like to drag and drop. It's super easy, guys. And then you can make like any adjustments you want. Um, here we go. And I just noticed I need to rub, um, mask the painterly off of the leaves that are already on there. And then you can adjust the opacity to help them blend more. I'm not going to add too many of them. I think I added like four or five to the previous image. I don't even know which ones I used. I just kind of dragged and dropped. But this is what you guys do. And then adjust. 
And then I also have um, some blurred ones in there. Uh, so if you want like different dimension, um, it adds a little bit of dimension to your images. There we go. Okay, I need to come back down to painterly and I don't want it on my leaves right there. So soft black brush over 100 and welcome back leaves. Okay, there we go. And I could have, <laughs> these leaves are a little bit big. I would adjust accordingly, um, but you guys get the picture. So this is just with a couple added leaves. And like I said, you can size them down, size them up, whatever you'd like. And now I'm gonna add a new layer and I'm gonna add some like floating particles. So the sparkle dust brushes, I'm gonna grab the first one. You can size them up using the right bracket key or size them down using the left. Just add some floating particles in the air. And that's the before and after. And the last thing I wanna do is run the ultimate dodge and burn and really just pull the whole image together with this. Continue. I'm gonna come down to the dodge and burn clothing, dodge and burn combo, soft white brush, 100% opacity. I'm gonna just run it over their clothes. And again, you can size up and down using the bracket keys. There you go. And for this image, I'm gonna leave it at 26%. I'm gonna come over to extra dodge and really make their clothes pop. You can make adjustments to the opacity, whatever you'd like. Spend some time, <clears throat> some time on this, guys. Okay. I'm gonna come back over here where her shoulder is. Oop. Okay. And that looks good. Um, again, play around with the adjustments. I'm not doing that right now, but you should spend some time. Okay. Now I'm into the dodge and burn skin and hair. I'm gonna just go over their skin. Some folding particles are on her face. You can either leave them or go back, add a layer mask and use your soft black brush to brush them off. You can make adjustments also after you um, add this dodge. I would work on the fingertips um, and all that, like zoom in close guys. You don't want halos. Again, this is very quick. I don't want to bore you guys, but yeah, take your time mask. Okay. Not like the slop show that I got going on. All right. Over at her. Um, belly. And then I'm going to come back with a brush at about 20%, 30% works soft, 18% works and just mask it off of him a little bit. He's a little bit brighter than the girls. Okay, that looks good. I'm gonna come over to the burn. Soft white brush, 100% opacity. It's gonna look funky at first, but you make adjustments after. This way you can kind of see where you're painting. Just gonna bring back some of the shadows there. Down. There. Let me close this up for you so you can see the adjustments made there before and after. Huge difference. I just love it. And now I want to go over to the retouch, rosy cheeks and lips. Chicks. Oh my goodness. Okay. I'm going to come to radiant red, soft white brush, 100% opacity. I'm going to just drop some on her cheeks and my son's cheeks and then turn it way down and just bring it up a teeny bit. She already has some red tones going on, so we don't need to add any extra to her skin. And then I'm going to go ahead and zoom out. And if you want, like if it drops you nuts that there's a little bit of yellow coming through, like too strong to the eye, just come over to your adjustments, click your little eyedropper tool and you can decrease that as much as you'd like or as a little, 
it's fun to play around with. I like it as is, or maybe just down a little bit like that, maybe negative nine. So that about does it, guys. Um, do you remember where we started over here? Pretty big difference. Look at that. Okay, you can find everything I used here over at www.storybuildphotography.com. Thanks, guys. Have a great day. Bye.